We're here at T minus 29 and 24 seconds. And the excitement here, you can just feel it. I can tell you, I know now why you guys were upset with me. No one was here before, everyone's here now. Hey, less than 30 minutes, the energy level is coming up, it's increasing, everyone's getting excited, we're all ready to go. Now, I, there are lots of questions I have. We've talked about how we prepare, how the shuttle gets ready for launch, but what we don't know, or what I don't know, and what right. lots of people would like to know, okay. is what is this shuttle mission's objectives, STS-118? Well, the primary objective, of course, is that Endeavour will rendezvous and dock with the International Space Station. Excellent. And in fact, while you know, as it docks, it's going to have supplies on board the shuttle that's going to transfer over to station. And they're also going to take some of the trash back that's on station. Very important. Nice. And also, too, is they're going to add another truss segment to the station. As you know, we're, we're building that space station, and we want to have it completed by 2010. Expandability. So we're adding another truss segment, and also we're adding another external stowage platform to okay. the station. Stowage. Stowage. Yes. And you can store items, supplies, oh, tools. Oh, yeah, Storage absolutely. space, yes. And for the first time, we're going to have a new power transfer system from station to shuttle. And in fact, if this works, then the shuttle can actually uh, use the power from the station. Thereby, we can extend the mission for the, for the shuttle. Okay, so what you're saying is with okay. that new system, right. just like when I work on the plane with my laptop, right. I have to watch my battery use right. and plan, and sometimes I can't do everything I want to do. Absolutely. But now, if I get that cord that plugs into the plane, I can just work away. So Yeah, essentially, that's it'll, right. It will allow Absolutely. them to do that kind of work. Absolutely. Perfect. And then also, too, uh, what they're going to do is, uh, if, if that's the case, if that transfer system works, we're going to extend it another three days or so. Oh, great. And there, therefore, besides the primary objectives, we're going to have secondary objectives that gotcha. the astronauts are going to accomplish. And they'll, so if it works, they'll actually do that this mission. Absolutely. So they already have those. Like, they don't have to guess. They, they've already up there. If it works, Absolutely. they're about their business. And don't, and don't forget, Barbara Morgan, the first teacher in space, is going to be up there. And she's going to be doing a number of educational activities, wow. especially with the students in Idaho, where she taught for a number of years. So is she going to like talk to them over the phone, or how's that going to work? Yeah, she's going to talk straight from space, right into the students' classroom. Like a video conference. Absolutely. Live. A absolutely. It's going, be, it's, it's going to be cool for the students. Yeah, and hopefully she won't give them too much homework because it's still summertime. Yeah, well, that's exactly. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I tell you what, we need to get ready for the launch. That's right. Uh, i got to digest the shuttle dogs, and then we've only got T-minus 27 and 5 seconds. So it, you're here with NASA Egg. And inside and outside look at all things NASA. Okay, i got to get going. Okay. 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 Let's go. I see him. You can see yep. him. Yeah. Oh. oh man! Look Good at that. grief! Look how bright that is. Oh, that is awesome. Oh. NASA Edge at T plus 2018 into an amazing mission with the Endeavor. I tell you, I, I'm, 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 I'm speechless too. I mean, I just, our RV was rocking so much when that shuttle was taken off. It was incredible. And it was so bright. I just, I, it just blew me away. I just gotta say, if you ever get a chance to see a shuttle launch for about 13, plan a trip. Yeah, plan a trip. Come on down to Kennedy. Uh, check it out. Be on the side of the road. It, it's unbelievable. I tell you what, I gotta go recover. But after that, maybe we can answer some more questions about uh, the space shuttle and, and this mission. We got viewer mail. Yeah, viewer mail. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, this is NASA Edge. An inside and outside look at all things NASA.
Welcome back to NASA Edge. An inside and outside look at all things NASA. Hey, we're back here in a NASA studio. We haven't been here in a while. No, and it feels it's, good, doesn't it's it? It's actually great to be back. Sure hey, is. Hey, what a, what a great mission for STS 118. We're going to talk about that later with our subject matter expert, Robbie Kearns. And we're also going to provide some viewer questions from our Facebook friends uh, during that time. Absolutely. And so Robbie will be here to answer those questions as well. Uh, but first, I think we have a, uh, a special guest on the line. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, that's Kayla LaFrance. She's the actual official number one NASA fan. Well, does Ron have her on the line? Oh. Uh, Kayla, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi, hi. this is Blair Allen from NASA Edge. Nice to meet you. How are things going, nice Kayla? Going great. How are things going for you? Not too bad. You know, it's, it's tough uh, working uh, back in the studio, working with the co-host, but we're, we're managing, but we're doing pretty well. Thank you. But but we do have some questions for you. I, I do in particular. Uh, how, how did this whole thing work? How did you become the official number one fan of NASA? I just made like a 30 second video that highlighted just things that I've done throughout like going to space camps and stuff that just showed how much I really love NASA space and astronomy. And I submitted it and there was an online vote on the NASA website and I guess I got the most votes because I won. Yeah, well, that's that's awesome. And so you, you when you became the number one fan, they told you you could go to the next shuttle launch or did you, how did you, how did you work that out? Um, as the winner, I got to go to a space shuttle launch, and the first launch was actually going to be right during finals. And so they said I could just pick a launch that would work with my school schedule. And so STS 118 ended up being the one I picked. So, uh, what was the coolest part of your? I mean, obviously the shuttle launch is cool, but you probably did a lot of different things. What was the coolest part of your experience down there at NASA Kennedy? Um, as of in the space shuttle launch, I'd have to say going into the OPS or the orbiting processing facility and getting to go into the, the Discovery Bay and being underneath the space shuttle Discovery. What do you want to do after you get out of college? Please, not an astronaut. Please, um, not an astronaut. Of course, I would love to be an astronaut. <sighs> but my ultimate goal More would be to work with um, Mars technology for Mars exploration. Hey, Kayla, uh, if it's okay, we'd like to uh, you know, keep in touch with you. Uh, throughout the school year, see how well you're doing. That'd be great. Well, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what to do. Is we'll take a break. We'll stay offline and continue to talk with Kayla. Okay. And then when we come back, I think uh, Robbie's uh, waiting for us, and we're going to uh, answer some questions from the viewers. That's right. And he's, talk about the shuttle mission. He's actually here, uh, IS. IS. What's that? In studio. In stu- You're watching NASA Edge. <laughs> and inside and outside, look at all things NASA. We'll be right in, back. In studio. He's yes. in, he'll be in studio. It'll be, it'll be bad. Ah! 